Good day, my friends. Pastor Steve Brown here with a word of blessing for you today. Early on Thursday mornings, I meet with a couple young men, Noah and Tyler, for a disciple-making Bible study. I often begin by asking them if they have a question they'd like to ask or a subject they'd like to talk about as they journey with the Lord. Today, Noah asked, what does it mean to bless? He said, we often hear of God blessing us or maybe us blessing others. What does it mean to bless? So he stayed with that this morning. I told him that there's a Hebrew word, Barak, that occurs 330 times in the Old Testament. It's very often used. For example, the first usage happens in the very first chapter, Genesis chapter 1, verse 22, where it says, God blessed them, that is the first human beings, Adam and Eve, saying, be fruitful and multiply. They were going to be blessed as they were, were fruitful and multiplied. Another early usage of the word happens in Genesis chapter 12, beginning verse 1, which is the call of Abram to be the first of God's chosen people, the Hebrews. And God says to Abram, I will make you a great nation. I will bless you. I'll make your name great and you'll be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and whoever curses you are cur will curse and all the peoples of the earth will be blessed through you five times. In that, those short verses, God uses the word blessed. And God says to Abraham later that he's going to bless Abraham by having him so many descendants of Abraham, they'll be like the stars in the heaven or the grains of sand on the seashore. And that, of course, leads to Jesus, a Hebrew, a descendant of Abraham. And it's through the work of Jesus that we all become children of Abraham and are saved into God's eternal family, blessed into God's eternal family. That's what God is teaching in his blessing of Abram. In the New Testament, there's a closely related word called eulogio. For example, in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3, it says this, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us, in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. Well, he said, okay, he told me where it occurs a few times in the Bible. What does it mean? The word bless in the Hebrew means when a greater person bestows ability or success on a lesser person. In this case, God bestowing ability or success on us. Or in the Greek, it means to cause to prosper, to make happy, when God causes us to prosper, to make, to make us happy. Maybe another way of understanding that is the Hebrew word shalom, which means more than just a greeting or saying peace be with you. It means that may all be well with you. May God cover you with his blessings in every way. So that's what it means to bless. When God, a greater being, bestows on us ability and success and happiness. The word literally means to kneel as though we kneel in front of God and receive his blessing. But you know, you can ask for God's blessing. A number of years ago, there was a prayer from the Old Testament called the Prayer of Jabez that was made known to us through a book by that title, the Prayer of Jabez. It, it's found in 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 10, where a man named Jabez cries out to God saying, Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me or upon me and keep me from harm so that I'll be free from pain or I will not cause pain. Jabez asked for God's blessing. Jesus told us, as recorded in Matthew chapter 7, verse 7, Ask and it'll be given to you. Seek and you'll find. Knock and the door will be open to you. God desires to bless us. And it is proper for us to ask for God's blessing on our life. So at the end of my time today with Noah and Tyler, I asked them, what would you ask for God's blessing in your life specifically? And they each told me a couple things. And so I extended my hand over them and I asked God's blessing upon them. I, I blessed them. 
through the words of God, that that would happen in their lives. You can do the same. Ask for God's blessing in some way in your life. And if you want a pastor to pray that over you, extend his hand over you, call Pastor Mike and I. We'd be happy to to bless you in the name of God in that way. The Lord bless you and keep you this day.